Hello and welcome Janet Beckers here. Do you have this question? Do you ever think how many times should I be following somebody up that has shown some interest in whatever it is that you have to offer? They're a lead and but they haven't committed yet to actually signing up with you. When should you next contact them? How many times should you contact them? And when is too much? When does it become salesy, pushy, being nagging, being a real pain in the butt, just really, really being irritating. How do you know? Well, that's the question that was sent through today uh, from one of our listeners, Terry Bahat from CoreWork. So, hey, Terry, thank you for such a great question. And if you have questions that you'd like to send through too, you can send those through to me and I'll put a link on the podcast page where you can send through questions that you've got for your business. So I'm going to approach this in the way that I do everything is in a systematic way. I'm going to break it down for you so you know exactly what to do and why you're doing it in your own business. Because there's no hard and fast rules about X number of days, X number of hours. So I'm going to break it down for you so you know that you're making the right decisions for your business. And I also have a gift for you that will really help you to get super duper clear and also help you to implement some of the things that I'm going to be talking about today. Now you can get that over at romanceyourtribe.com forward slash success maps or success map. They both work. Okay. So when you go there, you're going to be able to um, answer a couple of short questions and that will let me know exactly what stage you're at at business and you will get a success map with the five most important steps that you need to take for the stage of business that you're at in what order and it's got the details on what to do exercises on what to do and for the next week you'll get extra deep classes so that you can implement all totally free so if I'm going through this today and you're thinking, yeah, how do I do that? I've got you covered, baby. So you can go to romanceyourtribe.com forward slash success maps. Now, now that we've got all of that, so you know where to go, let's get in and answer this question for Terry. And I know this is a really common question that a lot of people listening will have. So thank you, Terry, for asking it really, really well. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to pick up on some languaging that um, that Terry had and that I know is not just Terry, that it is anybody that is asking this question has this languaging. And that language was becoming salesy and being annoying. So the first thing that you want to think there is a bit of a reframe here. And I'll walk you through how to reframe that so that you no. And because if you have actually got a solution for somebody and they're the right person, you're not going to be a pain in the butt from following them up. You're not salesy. It's And now we're going to be approaching it not from you want the sale because this is your business. It's going to be around helping them. Now, you may have heard this before and you might be going, yeah, 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 yeah. I've heard this whole idea of, yeah, but it's not about making sales. It's about helping somebody else to get their outcomes. Um, and a lot of times you may be rolling your eyes thinking, look, that's just a reframe. OK, that's what people say to try to make themselves themselves feel better about selling. And you know what? Often that's pretty true. They will do They will. You will hear those phrases, but it's not backed up on how to actually do that with integrity, how to actually be congruent when you've got that change in language. So let's look at what backs up that change in language so that you're not going to be thinking that any more. OK, and if you are thinking that it's going to be a red flag that you have not approached it in the three steps that I'm going to be sharing with you right now, because there is nothing worse than that feeling of going, oh, I haven't heard back from them. Is it because they really don't want what I'm doing, but they're being polite? They're not saying no. They just, you know, ghosting me, um, you know, that awful feeling that you get and you're expecting rejection. You're expecting rejection when you do 
have contact with them and you're expecting that there could be an outright rejection where they go, no, just back off. That's one of the biggest fears that we all have when it comes to making sales. And it's an awful feeling. I don't want you to have that. And if you do have that, you'll know when we go against these three steps that actually you shouldn't be chasing up if you're getting that feeling because you'll have been able to market against these three steps. So what are these that help you to be able to know how often to follow them up and what to say when you do follow up? So we're going through one, two and three. So the very first one is you need to be able to ask yourself is can I help this particular person to get the outcome that they want? So in order for you to be able to answer this question really, really clearly, there's a couple of things that you need to know. First of all, you need to know what kind of outcomes that you can get. Like what is the transformational journey that you can take people on from point A to point B? If you get the right person, can you say with absolute confidence that, yeah, no brainer, I can get, I can help them to go from problem to the solution, the outcome that they're wanting. No brainer, I can help them to do that as long as I've got the right person. So the first thing is, can you help them to get the result? If you're umming and ahhing on this a little bit, there's usually two reasons for that. One is, you're not narrow enough. You haven't really worked out very clearly what is the transformation that you can create? What is the outcome that you can help people get with absolute confidence? So it could be because you're going, well, I can help them with lots and lots of things. You need to be super clear. It may mean that you can help people get, say, four different transformations, depending on where, what stage they're at, but you need to be clear on what those are so that you know, yep, absolutely, I can help you. Now, the other part of that was if you have the right person. So the part that's got to do with that is you need to then be absolutely super clear on who is the ideal person, like who is your most profitable avatar, not just somebody who can get results that you can get results with, but who can you get the best results with? Who is this actually tailored for? So that you know straight off when you see them, ah, that's them. That's the person that I know that I can really, really help them get results. So they're the two things that you need to ask yourself. If you're umming and ahhing on that a bit, well, then know that you need to do some work on that. And it's okay because the freebie that I've got for you will guide you through that process on what things that you need to be doing, where do you need to get that information, questions you need to ask yourself, exercises to do to get clarity on those things. Like what is the transformational journey that you can take the perfectly perfect client, the most profitable avatar? Those two things, when you get them, what can you help them achieve? If you're not clear on this, well, it's really difficult to make a sale because you can't communicate to them why they would want to spend money with you. Like, what's going to be the outcome? Now, the other thing before we move on to the second step is sometimes I will have people say, well, I can't say they're going to have this definite outcome because what I do with them may be... Um, you know, it might be that you're doing some sort of work that is as a personal development, some sort of coaching work where you might be able to say, well, I can't say to them they're going to get this result because, you know, it's that's I'm not working on that result. I'm working on their strategies, their confidence, their communication, whatever it is. That's OK. You can't take responsibility for what they do with the outcome that you give them, but you can be very clear on the outcome, which is that they're going to have a process that they can be using to help them make decisions or to have the confidence or a process to communicate. So that's the other thing. If you're going, look, you can't possibly promise an outcome. 
you're just checking them out there a little bit okay you're not being clear enough on the where do your responsibilities finish and communicate that to them so that's number one absolute clarity on who it is that you help get results with and absolute clarity on what that result looks like what is point a for them and what is point b and that journey that transformation can you do that if you can't help them to get that well why should they pay you anyway okay let's just be totally honest here go and work out how to get results for people and then they will pay you so that is number one and i know i know terry she can get results for people so that's not going to be your problem so it may very well be if you've got this point here and you're thinking mm, you know i don't know if they're the right person because of a b and c well they may not be the right avatar they may not be the person you're going to get the best results with so that is number one or what you're doing for them you may not be the best person they might need something else first before they will benefit from you so help them just put them to the right person that's going to get them to the stage where now they can work with you so but you won't know that if you're not clear on what your point a is that you help people with All right so that is number one now once you've got that well the next thing you've got is do they actually want help do they just because you can help them are they wanting to change are they actually after the transformation are they committed to doing it because if it's actually not really on their radar if they're going oh yeah that's a good idea because they've had the conversation with you but they haven't gone oh you know what i really need that that's the difference if they're just going oh that's a great idea well they're probably not going to be motivated to buy anyway so do they want it are they after the transformation that you have that you're that you can offer them now this is a really important one and sometimes it's not one that you want to hear so if they're not really committed if they're not that really wanting the result, then you've got the next step okay if they're not really ready if they're not wanting it well perhaps they need some kind of education so that's where you being able to give them some kind of content that is going to help them to understand the benefits of they um, of getting of achieving the outcome you know that you can help them you know that you've got the solution for them and you know from what you know from them that absolutely you can help them get the results if they don't if they're not motivated well maybe they will be if you have got some education for them some content that may be where you've got some articles that you've written you may have videos that you've made webinars that you've done whatever it is that you can provide as content that shows them that you know what they're doing and can really communicate the benefits to them so if you are assessing the people that you've got number one if you're following somebody up and you're not really sure on what the outcomes are that you want from them well that's your first follow-up what is it that you're wanting to achieve the next step is going to be well how important is it to you like at rating out of 10 like how do you you know how important is for you to achieve this if they're going to be saying oh a bit of a five a bit of a four well then help them to decide give them that education that's going to help you to follow up that's what you're following up with okay now the next step we've got absolutely you've got somebody that says well yeah this is actually really important to me but they still haven't bought why on earth haven't they bought so how do you follow them up it may be that yeah this is important to me but at the moment it's not their top priority it may very well be that they've got something that's coming up that's going to stop them it could be that they have a commitment either financially or time wise to something else but they will be ready they will be able to make it a priority in a month or two months um, it may be that you know I've had people where they're going absolutely I really want to work with you it is a top priority but I've booked in a holiday <laughs> and it's gonna be for a month and so I'd be crazy to do something now that's you know that's their really valid reasons so that's the next side of it if you're if you know that this is really important to them so you need to find out from them like when is going to be what's stopping you basically what is stopping you from taking action now is it important for you to get it done now or is it something that you're really putting off till next year 
but just explain so you, that can be your follow-up first of all finding out how important it is to them and then all right when are we going to get it done because they've said it's important so ask them just ask them that can be your follow-up you've said that this is really important what I'd like to know is what's your time frame on this so I can help you to be able to plan if they're you know if they've got something definite then well you know okay I'm gonna follow you up I'll keep in contact I've got some great free information for you and I will follow you I will get in contact again on this date when you know that you're ready if they're going well yeah yeah it's really important but yeah I'm not really I'm not sure when I'm gonna start well it's something more isn't it and it could be that's where it's coming into the things that are stopping them and very often it may not be you it may not be that you're not the right person that your program is not the right program it may be self-doubt on their part that am I capable of doing it now if you've been helping clients for a while you'll have an idea of what those self-doubts are so you can challenge them on those you can say okay I'm just going to follow you up because in my experience when people know that this is super important to them but they're not ready to take action yet it could be because of me so let me know if it's if I'm not the right person for you just let me know that's okay um, but if it's not that in my experience it will usually fall into one of these things um, do any of those sound like that could be an issue for you so just ask them you know what's going through their mind these are the follow-ups that you can do so there's no use saying are you ready to buy are you ready to buy are you ready to buy until you can be entering the conversation that's happening in their head so it may be they're not the right customer for you or you're really unclear on the outcome so they need education and you know you need to refine it could be that it's not really that important to them now that could be because really you could help them but it's not really important to them it might be later on um, but you know it could be that they just need some education to help them make a decision so that they can see the benefits they can visualize what is possible that's where your follow-up comes in there the next part might be yep they're all there but it's an internal thing stopping them and that's where it really helps if you have got some free resources that answer those questions for them that answer those objections um, then these could be case studies these could be videos that you've done they could be articles that you've done this is how you can be following them up okay because once you've just once you've worked through and you've gone okay I can help this person I've got the transformation they're clear on what that is they understand the benefits they know it's important and they've actually said it's important and they say that they don't have anything at the moment that's actually using their time or their other resources so they could be ready to go I've helped them to really discover if there are internal blockages some self-doubts and how you can meet those then it's like then you can just go so what's stopping you when when will we start ask for the sale just ask for the sale and just understand that you know what you're going to have a lot of people out there that you can help only a certain amount of them want to actually do anything about it and of those only a certain amount are ready to do it now doesn't mean it's a no it could be a no now and of those ones that are ready to start now they may just need some reassurance that they can do it that they can get the outcomes with your help so don't see it as all rejection see it as your way of doing like a triage to work out who is ready for you to help now when it comes to you've worked out okay he's the right person there may be some things that are stopping them from saying yes now that's where having a good offer comes in having an offer that actually makes them go wow that is a total no-brainer that's I'd be crazy not to take it and providing some kind of reward for actually taking action now that you know whether whether that is a limited bonus whether it is it's closing soon whatever it is that you're going to be doing get them to make the decision now and so but there's only the use making that to people who are at that point where they're ready to buy but they're having some kind of self-doubt 
then that's what your offer does. It helps to alleviate any doubt they have in you and alleviate any doubt they have in themselves. So if you need help with that, I've also got um, podcast episodes on doing good offer. And I also have in the free training that I've got for you, which is at romanceyourtribe.com forward slash success maps. I've also got there about making an offer. Like what do you need to have in your offer? So all of that is there for you. It's step by step in the exact order for whatever stage you're at in business. And you'll, you'll do a very short quiz there that will help me to be able to know which is the right success map for you. So you don't waste your time doing things that are in the wrong order or you don't need to do, or you don't need to do yet. And of course, to get in like in a lot of detail, to be able to get the full training on all these things and all the templates and worksheets and all of those sorts of things, you can join the success circle. And you can go to those at romanceyourtribe.com forward slash success circle. Um, and that's the community where you can join just for a monthly fee. And that's got everything in there to take you step by step. And that's where you also get access to me and other people who are working through the program where you're going to get live support um, and really get some traction there. So um, you've got two two ways that I can help you with that. Um, But the most important thing is to always think back to those three steps. Always ask yourself, and I'll just go over those again. Number one, and the question here was how often should I follow people up so you'll see I haven't said to you well it's got to be a number one not you know two days later you say this three days later you say that come on you can actually make make those decisions yourself but you're going to be doing that depending on what stage they're at so this is how you know and so you know you're communicating the right message at the right time your way of following up is a triage number one can you help them Are they the right person? Are they clear on what outcome they want? And is an outcome that you can do? That's your first steps. They're the kind of follow-up and questions that you're giving people and sending them resources to help them understand. The next one, once you're super clear on the transformational journey and your most profitable avatar, and is there a match, is how motivated are they? Do they actually want to have the outcome? So you just got to ask them, like, how important is this? Like, give us a rating out of 10 so I know. And then if they're saying that, then you want to follow up. Well, is are you right now? Like, how does this work out for you now? Is it something that you won't be ready for a while? And why? If the why is a bit blurry, you'll know that it's an internal thing. They're either not sure about you. Um, or they're not sure about themselves. And usually if you've got to this point, they're not sure about themselves. So that's where you will again be answering those questions and those internal objections. Um, And this is where great content comes in. And then the final one is, okay, you've said all these things, you said you're ready. Here is an absolutely no-brainer offer. Now, one simple wording that I will give you that helps you and helps them is... Don't just always assume if you haven't heard from people that it's a no, that it's a rejection. If you've seen my inbox and, you know, like most people, I have a couple of different email accounts, one that's for communicating everything and another one where there's all those newsletters we subscribe to or whatever, you know, they're full. And so sometimes there can be really important things that I want to go back to, but I'm going, wow, that's almost, that's already on the second page now because so much stuff has come in so just simply acknowledging people so sending them an email saying hey if you're I know what it's like if you're anything like me your inbox gets really full really quickly so I'm just floating this back to the top of your inbox so that you can find it really really simple you can do that a few times okay just putting this back to the top of your inbox so you can find it It acknowledges them that they're busy and it doesn't make them feel embarrassed about, oh, I really should have replied and I feel really guilty that I didn't. You've given them a reason why they can reply back and go, oh, thank you. Okay, so that's just a really simple wording that you can use. Okay, I hope that that helps you. Again, go over to romanceyourtribe.com forward slash success maps and that's where you'll be able to get free training and a step-by-step map of the top five things your business at your stage that's going to move you 
ahead the fastest as you can. And a lot of the things I've done here today will give you the action steps. Okay, go get them. And thank you so much, Terry, for a really good question. Um, Kerry's from CoreWorks. And um, if you go over onto the um, the podcast webpage, you'll be able to get a link to go and connect with Terry. If you would like to have your question answered, and if you would like me to be able to put uh, a focus on your business, links to your business, and share them with my subscribers, then please send through your questions. You can do that by either just emailing me, um, and also on this podcast page i will have the link for where you can go and um, give me all the information to be able to submit your question and hopefully i will be able to choose your question that will be able to help other people as well okay bye go get them folks <laughs>